I told Joe I don't have a good cake cutting knife and that's when Jada says mommy use a machine and I said but the machine don't have teeth and Jada says see mine has teeth child let's chop this cake up that will be a nice video huh let's get into it guys I'm gonna tell you about the making of this cake the decorating of this cake and then we're gonna go ahead and cut into this cake you're watching the bear pantry show my name is Barbara and for over a decade I've been teaching viewers and subscribers how to cook authentic dishes from my home country of Belize and many other delicious dishes from basic ingredients you're watching the bear pantry show <laughs> Joe, Joe. <laughs> Go show and help a wheel this thing, baby. <laughs> so why does it have teeth on that side? <laughs> Joe, Joe, why does it have teeth on that side? If you want to saw anything. Oh, for a saw? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was to like disembowel somebody or something. <laughs> you can use it for that too. <laughs> so what's the correct pronunciation of this word? This holiday season is going to be hectic. It's going to be emotional, but it's going to be special. Because if you follow the rules and protocol, you might actually get to spend time with your family and friends. If that's what you want to do. Now what you're not going to do is show up empty handed. No more store-bought pumpkin pies or apple pies. With this easy to follow ebook of 25 delicious desserts, you'll be the favorite guest at any table. Choose from pies, cakes, puddings, or candies. And watch them eat the entire confection. This machete. Machete is the Spanish pronunciation. The English, British English, they say machete. And then American English say machete. They say like a D on it, machete. But Belizeans say what? Machete. Machete. That's what we say. And the thing that it goes in is called a scaba. <laughs> All right, set my machete aside for a second. All right, guys, so look at my beautiful cake. Joe, thank you so much for helping me with this cake yesterday. Oh, my God. Let me tell you how this cake went. All right, so the cake itself is a sponge cake. Don't, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Come, come, come. The cake itself is a sponge cake. I've made this cake before many times as a tres leches cake, right, Joe? Mm -hmm. And I... What are you looking at yourself? It's Oh, it's just the rubble and the black stuff. I usually make it in a pan like this. 9 by 13 pan and the batter is enough to fit this pan so I wanted to make a round cake because I wanted to make layers with the fruit and stuff in the middle so Joe says use one of these pans you guys know how this pan come by a set of three right what's this called again spring spring form swim form pan so that's the small one Joe measure that for me measure that for me to see how big that is this is the medium and this is the large right so Joe's gonna measure a one, nine. Oh, you got it right. That's not. I thought it was seven. No, it's not nine. It's like like eight and a half. Eight and a half. So do this one. Measure this one. Which one is nine? And nine and a half. So eight and a half, nine and a half. And with this one. Let's go fifty. This one is. Uh, Dang, he goes slow. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. All right. So the um, height. That side is. Mm, Almost three, right from the top, right, Joe? Mm -hmm. From the top of here is about three. Yeah, about three. But it's the same height for all the pans. So this cake that I was watching a video with somebody that made a sponge cake. I didn't like the way their sponge cake looked when it was done big, and I didn't like the way it was made. So I'm like, no, I'll do my own sponge because I know my sponge is good, right? So they use Joe. What size pan do you think they use? The pan looked tall, right? The tall one, no. It's narrow but tall. I don't have any pan like that. See, all my cake pans, they're different size in width, but they're not taller than the two or three inches tall. So I couldn't bake one solid cake like that. Unless I did this, this is taller. Can you measure that for me? Yeah, definitely. It's a little bit taller, right? Measure this one. This one is uh, three. Three, but it has, it goes to the bottom. So it's a three and a half, right? Not so, really. Because you, you only you have four percent. Okay, right? take this here. Take that. Measure that. Why does it look taller? Three. three. So they're all three. So this one may not work neither. Okay? This is seven by three. I love this pan, by the way. Gina got this for me for my Christmas or birthday one year. Has this part with the, um, let me show it to this camera. With that lip, you just snap that in there. And so see, right here. That's where all your spillage goes. If not, word to the wise. If you're going to use these spring form pans, 
put foil underneath it okay so now I have some footage to cut away to the, tell you the story about this cake and then I don't have footage on some part because I got fed up and I stopped recording right Joe so why I got fed up is because of the, the frosting I was following the other lady frosting on YouTube I'm not gonna say her name because I'm gonna trash her <laughs> so this is the frosting here okay it's still liquidy Joe it's still liquidy so it starts off with white chocolate and you put hot cream on it to melt it then you put some condensed milk some sugar I might have the footage on this and then you're supposed to put it like in an ice bath to cool it down and then you put the heavy cream in there and beat it and it's supposed to come to soft uh, stuff like let me put this back so it can stay cold it comes to soft uh, peaks kind of like um, if you spray with with cream out the can right so anyways I do the thing and the thing was not forming and from the time Jada watched the video Jada said that is not gonna work and first of all the lady left it real soft to pipe some scallops on top of the cake Jada says that's not gonna work because Jada know how to pipe because she worked at a bakery for a year or so right why can you go stop that phone Joe went to take the phone and put it in the room guys his phone rings all day I keep telling the people that we're renters so that they can stop bothering me about solar and the mortgage and selling the house that's three set of calls I'm getting rid of by saying that we're renters so anyways come on back Joe um, where was I in this thing the, the cream wasn't working so I did the whipped cream frosting that I do for my tres let's just say because that comes out good all that is is heavy cream and regular sugar not confectioner sugar you beat the heavy cream, you chill the bowl chill the beaters beat the heavy cream till it comes to stiff peaks while you're adding in that sugar some vanilla if you want to, and you spread it and it's amazing now I did like this whipped topping for this cake Joe because it spread easily you notice that right so when I did the top it came out smooth I'm not really good at smoothing things off I'm not really even good at smoothing off um, What's the thing called we put on Joy's wedding cake? Fun that. Oh, yeah. I'm not really even good at that, but Joy's wedding cake came out. I, I started Joy was pleased. Thank you, Jesus. So, I like the whipped topping for this type of cake because it's light, it spread easily um, better than buttercream. So at first I went around like with the spatula. This thing, this offsets. When I said Joe, get me the offset spatula. Joe said, what the hell is that? <laughs> it looks like this thing. It has a little dip there. So that's the offset spatula. And then, um, what else? Help me out, baby. Oh, so I went around, stuck all the fruits on, because inside the cake has fruits too. Now, Joe, when I thought about making a cake book, mm -hmm. this is what came to my brain. Mm -hmm. I like showing up at a baby shower, a backyard event, and see a cake like this. Oh, God, I get excited. I'm like, I want to taste that cake. It has fruits. I don't know what it is about fruits on the cake that just excites me. Because <laughs> fruit is your soul. I know, huh? <laughs> So anyways, I, it has the, the whipped frosting in between the fruits and everything. I did that. Around was ugly. I could not smooth it off. What I do, these are my three tips for decorating for the people who can't decorate, for the undecorator. Take a little spoon when you have a thick enough frosting. This frosting wasn't thick enough to do it with, but take a spoon and go boop, 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 and it's going to make little peaks. You know, say boop, boop, from no, 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 don't touch the cake. Like don't this. touch the cake. Don't touch the... We have to do a photo shoot with this cake. I'm not touching the cake. I'm just showing that, you. That or take something like this. I got this as a set. Came with this in a thing that I got from my friend Jessica. And this, somebody says it's to serve ham, like lunch meat. But see, let me show you here for this camera die. See, can I look? Get something like that. Don't use a dinner fork because for some reason a dinner fork will start dragging your cake and the cake will crumble. So get something like this. I don't know where you're going to get it from. Look at Amazon and just go around. See? textured it I took off every fruit washed it off dried it and stuck it back on I was in tears I like carve my name in it baby I was in tears so this is a knife to cut cake right this is what we had for our wedding do you realize this thing 36 years old because mm -hmm. December will make 36 years of marriage older than me mm -hmm. <laughs> not even back way <laughs> I don't have the serving thing. I know I have it somewhere, but this is from our wedding. I don't like to cut cake with this though, even though it has teeth. Sometimes sure. it, the teeth are too small, something about it. So then I got this one from my sweet friend Jasmine. Now this one barely got teeth, right? Barely has teeth on it. Let's see. Okay. And I have the serving thing because I want to do a photo shoot with it. So all this to say we're going to cut this cake, but let me get some powder sugar because I want to sprinkle some on top. Hold on. So I have the bowl and the beaters chilling in the freezer because I'm still going to try to beat that thing with the white chocolate. That's not going to master me. You know what I mean, Joe? I think the thing was too hot. Ooh. Ave Maria. 
Look, Joe. Mira, Brilliant. beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, baby. Thank you. So, Joe, oh, I forgot this. Joe helped me cut the cake. He made a thing for me. This thing right here, made from wood, have two pieces right here. Let's see. This camera battery is still blinking. Set the cake in the middle. You're supposed to rest the knife, right, Joe? Mm -hmm. Where the long knife be? Yeah, Which one we use? Oh, we use this knife. Because this looks long, a bread knife. Mm -hmm. Rest it, and you're supposed to cut through even to get your even um, layers. Child, the knife too short. It started to poke through the cake with a dull Johnny, thing on the front. You got about right here. Mm -hmm. Straight to straight this camera. So you got right there, see? See? Okay, you can't count the handle. And it was not getting through the cake. So guess what I ordered today from Amazon? A cake cutting knife, a long one. So Jada was the one that said, use a machine. I said, but Jada, my sheet don't have no teeth. It's smooth, it's not gonna cut the cake. But Jada said, my machine have teeth. <laughs> Let me show you guys. <laughs> See? It has teeth. So that's when I invited Joe. Let's see if that one. No, no. Why you keep trying to do this? He, I already <laughs> look. I already did my photo shoot for the book cover. We already have our book cover going. I don't know when this book is going to be ready. I'm hoping by Christmas. If I wanted it ready by Thanksgiving, I should have turned it in by the ending of August. No, we're in the middle of September. I'm still working on this book. I have 30 cakes to create out of this book to do the test. Then I have to prove for it. Then I still have to do like seven more pictures. I don't know. I'm praying for Christmas. Y'all pray for me. Ask the Lord to give me strength and innovative ideas. Okay? So let's cut, baby. When I feel use? I think we're going to use this. Tell you, let's use this. Let's no, no, stop. Okay, grab this. This is going to die on us pretty soon. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? 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 Oh, it got any nice though. You got a big piece, not true? And that, and that. Yeah, it's cool. Huh? Because it's cool. Look at that sponge. No, this is not a piece that you should eat, okay guys? Let's get that out of the way. Oh, and this thing that it sits on is from mommy. And this thing has this thing has a beautiful um thing to go with it. What do you call the thing? The serving thing. It doesn't cut but it serves. I can't get it! It's coming, it's coming. It's coming, it's coming. Move that spoon, move that spoon. Okay, that die. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Joe. Mm. No, no, let me tell you what you're going to do. You're going to press it as I pull. Sorry guys, but the camera dies same time. It's a mess. Jesus, why? The, 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 the piece not cut good. Crap. Okay, so I'm gonna have to cut a better piece. Let me let me grab the camera off the stand. I'm gonna have to cut a better piece if I want to do a photo shoot with this cake. Because I wanted to do a photo shoot though for this to be the um the uh chapter starting. What are you doing? It's, it's, you can't move it. I'm gonna cut another piece. It's, it's I'm gonna cut another piece, babe. Put that there. See, and you want to have pretty piece. Just put that here to lay down. Put it to lay down. Yeah, Move the cake. Move the cake and put it to lay down. Mm -hmm. Like that. I'm going to have to put it that way anyway. I don't know who the hell said to put it to stamp, right? It's not bad. It's good. It's not bad, folks. It's you good. You want to live? Oh, it's marvelous. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> you, the line right away, <laughs> you guys look at this so this is all about mm. I'm gonna put the links it's good mm. it's gorgeous it's a beautiful cake Joe you didn't have lunch yet but we can eat all the sugar it's good people it's good <laughs> what are you looking at <laughs> if I you say it's good people and you're pointing towards those books you're supposed okay. to see the camera yeah Look, 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 look. It's good, people. <laughs> if I tell you it's good, it's good. Because if it's not good, I'm going to say, oh, it's all right. Oh, you always say it's all right even when it's good. Oh, what do you call the thing? The cream that's on top. This is a gorgeous cake. But I have to cut this cake to get a good piece out to let this be 
one of the pictures for my um, my uh, chapter. So I have to clean this plate off. I need. I think I need to cut with a different knife. I think. I think I really do need. I need to cut with maybe a smooth knife. What do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Anyways, this was about the cutting of this cake, showing you the inside. Um, if you don't know how to decorate a cake, my cake book is going to be the perfect thing for you because every cake that I've put in that book comes out perfect when you try it. You don't have to make a mistake and go back and waste all your ingredients. That's why I'm testing them for you. I've got 30 cakes to make, so a lot of what you're going to see coming up are going to be cakes. I know I've been kind of absent this week, but that's because I was dealing with the book and dealing with everything else that's going on in life. But in any case, um, you're going to see a lot of cakes. I don't know what I'm going to do with these cakes. If people live close enough, I might have to show up at your door and bring you a cake. All right. If you like what we've produced here today, Joe and his machete, go ahead and hit the like button. It's free to you and it gets us in the algorithm. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and pick up one of my many books. And this is going to be one coming soon. Because I have this. <laughs> We have, do you know how much machine we have in this house? No, five. No, it's more than that. Mm -hmm. It's like two for every bedroom, one in each bathroom. The kitchen, you don't know where it is in the kitchen. We don't tell you where it is. The laundry room, the living room, the dining room. See, we could run to any area. And grab a machine. And, have a machine. and everybody know where it's at. And forget the damn scabbat. And don't let Joe pick up one of these because he knows how to use it. Joe, didn't you chase the teacher? That's a story for another, and that's going to be a story for a mukbang, okay? I love y'all. The teacher's still alive. Bye, guys. Bye-bye, people. This is the Beth Andrew Show.